can instantly hear it, guys. It's full finished in plastic. This is a monster. In my opinion, the most beautiful steering wheel that AMG has created. Start it up. Let's go. Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Today, I will be presenting you the Mercedes AMG GLS 63. As you can already see, I am at Holman International showrooms. They have the craziest car, so don't forget to check them out. And in today's video, I will be doing a full walk around showing you all the exterior features. Afterwards, we will be jumping inside to show you the interior. And last but not least, we will be listening to the beautiful sound of this one. So let me talk about this car in specific. Here we have the GLS 63 AMG. It's painted in diamond white, as you can instantly see. And we have the night package as well. This is the fastest seven-seater by AMG. The engine is a V8 by turbo AMG engine producing 612 brake horsepower and it does 0 to 100 in about 4.2 seconds. Guys, this is pretty fast and it's the fastest seven seater. Also, it's 5.2 meters long, guys. This is humongous, but we'll be focusing on that later on. Let's just get right into it and let me start with the walk around, starting with the front. And here we have it, guys look at this this is a monster the gls 63 the gls itself the stock one is already humongous but the amg version especially with the huge grill makes it look so dominant let's just focus on the headlights first here we have the gls specific headlights here we have the nice led two led torches looking very decent in the front we have this humongous this is huge guys just look at the grill wow it's it's perfectly fitting to such a big car guys even the mercedes-benz star just look at my hand look how big it is we have the 3d star emblem here and surrounding the 3d star emblem we have another ring which makes it look even bigger plus the so-called panamericana front grille mercedes-benz front star finished in black some nice power domes giving it a very sporty touch in the front we have the nice looking front bumper full finished in black as we have the night package looks very very nice something i don't like as you know plastic on amgs they shouldn't do it but it looks um, it looks okay on such an suv everything finished in black front splitter everything guys how do you like the front of this i love it i really love it continuing now with the side of this as i already mentioned the car itself is 5.2 meters long guys it's huge they produce this car in the usa in america where they also love big cars the gls is more for the american market also we have the seven seater option here we'll also show you that later on let's just focus on the rims first here we have the 23 inches the new ones these are the multi-spoke rims the y-shaped ones but there's something new we have the center lock with the mercedes-benz star but surrounding that we have the amg looks very nice then we have the big brake calipers full finished in red amg very nice just look at these these are 285 40 zr23 biggest option you can get for the gls 63 23 inches v8 by turbo formatic plus badge on the side again side mirrors finished in black the rest is finished in plastic I don't like it but never mind we have the easy entrance sidestep which is optional i don't like it but it looks very cool on the gls giving it a more suv characteristics everything else you see mirrors tinted the frames are full finished in black door handles chrome since we have the keyless go package the rear wheels as you can see the multi-spoke rims looking very very cool i love them and in the back we have 325 tires we, guys these are huge as huge as the car itself something i love about the amg are the side fenders they are painted in the exterior paint back in the days we had these finished in plastic 
but uh, this looks very, very nice. Now it's time to show you something I love about the GLS 63 and it's the rear. Guys, look at this. Start talking about the taillights. You see these are the GLS specific ones. Looking very cool and slim. Very nice design, GLS 63 badge, everything else you finish the chrome. I would even de-chrome these and go for full black finish, would suit and look much better as we have the night package, Mercedes-Benz style emblem in chrome, AMG badge also in chrome. Then we have the diffuser, something I don't like again. You can instantly hear it, guys, it's full finished in plastic. Why would Mercedes do that? Give the people the opportunity to choose between plastic carbon fiber or exterior paint or full finish in black never mind but but why would you go with plastic if you share the same opinion just comment it down below we have the exhaust tips are full finished in black as we have the night package we have the amg engraved as you can see here very very cool the sound is also nice but we'll show you that later on now it's time to step inside but before we do that let me show you the key and here we have it the mercedes amg key full finished in black looking very nice Unfortunately, no fault about badge on the back. Very cool. Unlocking the car, stepping inside for the interior view. Let's go. So as soon as I open the door, you can instantly see the interior. And something I don't like is the boring interior spec. Guys, it's full finished in black, very darkish tone. Great daily driver if you have it in full black. It's still very decent and elegant looking. Let's just focus on the door panels first full article leather with the dark grayish stitching with the Burmester, but that's not the high end. If we had the high end option, you would also have the Burmester chrome speakers over here as well. And you also have a better sound, obviously. We have the memory key settings over here, the heating, the cooling, everything else, the buttons and all in all, full finished in black, looking very, very boring. Wooden trim, also very darkish. We have the AMG entrance board. We have the AMG floor mats and the seats but now it's time to step inside and show you more about this gls 63 starting with the animation there we go unfortunately we have the gle 63 s animation but i think they're going to change it soon um starting with the interior this is going to be a fast one because as you can instantly see there's nothing special on that one uh, let's start talking about the steering wheel in my opinion the most beautiful steering wheel that amg has created the flat bottom one the nice looking airbag cover guys this is beautiful the steering wheel frame all finished in stock color the old shift pedals as you know they are it is already a new amg steering wheel this is full finished in black leather perforated leather on the side amg engraved on the bottom love it guys let me just start the ignition so we can start the ambient lighting magic guys this looks beautiful as you know we have the ambient light in every car but with the gle and gls we have this part as well which is so cool i love this we have the full leather trim we have the wooden trim in the center console i love this and i always prefer this instead of the piano the dashboard also full finished with the leather trim all in all very very nice let's just focus on the seat as you can see this is not black it's a dark brownish color we also have kind of alcantara dynamica parts on the inside with the amg badge over here looks very cool we have the panorama sunroof guys this is humongous i love this it gives you so much light in the interior and feels so nice i really love the way this looks and if you guys go and get yourself a gls just upgrade it and choose the optional panorama sunroof gorgeous and now it's time to step to the back to show you the rear passenger seat row plus to show you the rear passenger seat row and the rear rear passenger seat row you see that as i already told you guys this is a seven seater and here we have the normal back seats Holman International, lovely, with the same leather color tone as we had with the front, the brownish, darkish tone here. But as soon as we pull that down, you see that? You can just pull that button over there 
and you have some space to move to the back seats for the seven seater options you also have usb-c chargers here or you can unfold them down to have more trunk space even a cup holder for the back this is very very cool let me just get right over here to demonstrate you how much space you have it's, it's actually very comfortable to be honest i'm 190 tall and you have the headrest over here you can just put that up you see that and then you have the seat like this easy position i mean it's sitting very low uh, therefore i mean for kids it's very chill drive here but if you're taller than uh, 180 it's a little bit difficult but still very cool because you have a lot of head space in the back you don't have a lot of space then because you have the seats but if you want more space here you can also unfold these seats and that's it basically for the interior view now it's time to start up the gls 63 amg let's go now inside the gls 63 lowering the windows we have the amg exhaust mounted on that one which you can manually control with that button let me just start the ignition there we go you can just press that button but you can also just go ahead and move to sport plus and then it's automatically opening the exhaust valves let me just start up the car and give you some revs from the interior and afterwards we'll be jumping out to listen it from outside so let's just go ahead start stop foot on brake let's go As you can see, the car is very, very cold, so I'm not really pushing it. But to just give you quite an example of how it, how it sounds. So now it's time to demonstrate you the sound of the GLS 63 AMG. As you know, we have the AMG exhaust mounted on that and it's a little bit cold. Therefore, please do not expect a lot. Let's just go ahead and start it up. you hear that i really did not expect to hear such a sound i mean we still have the opf and all the regulations the rev limiter but still it sounds crazy you have the cracks and pops still amg managed to do a great job on that how do you guys like it just leave it in the comment section below So that's it basically for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. To be honest, I really can't wait to finally drive the GLS 63. I hope you enjoyed my first look. This is also my first time seeing a GLS 63. I think due to COVID and since this car is being built in the US, it's very difficult now. Therefore, stay tuned for a driving with this because it's definitely coming. All in all, I really love the look of the GLS 63. It looks very, very brutal. It also sounds very nice. I really enjoyed it can't wait to drive how do you guys like it how do you guys like the exterior the rear the interior and the sound just leave it in the comment section below looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day i will be back